Hey Heat Beats lovers, we're here at the Reedsdale Camp Oven Cook-Off and we've got about 30 entrants in, uh, in the competition this year. They're all over there with their camp ovens cooking up a storm. The judging happening down that way and uh, we'll head on down and see what the judge has got to say about the fair. Okay, so we're here with Mim Ward and she's the organiser of the Reedsdale Camp Oven Cook-Off. Mim, tell us a little bit about why a camp up and cook off and uh, how it all happens in Reedsdale. It's country, I think. It's country and it's community and it's the sort of event that really lends itself well to that because um, people just have a fascination with camp oven cooking and they've got, got on so many family trips and this sort of thing where they've done the camp oven cooking uh -huh. and as soon as you mention it they'll go, I'm the best. You know, like I go all the time, I went as a child, I did this, I did that. And so, so we just... People are really passionate about their Really camp. passionate and it's hysterical because they do, um, you know, most people here have practiced before the event at least five or six times at home and they've gone through three or four different recipes and they've come out with the best and I mean even as you walk around today there are people who have invented sausage making machines at home and this sort of thing so yeah, we might they just get right yeah guys. yeah but they do they just get really into it yeah, yeah to say we can uh, presentation well there's not a lot to do is no, no. no. You can't compare it to like a meal, pretty, sort of thing. Uh, no, 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 some dampers are not coming up in a few minutes. No, no, no. Like a, it does look a bit different, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a bit squirrely. Now, what, what about the wine? Where have you been, Matt? I think this is a Collingwood game on the, on the radio. That was the judging, very official. Uh, now we've got behind us the, uh, the entrance. You can see a couple of rows here. CFA way in the back there. They're in charge of coals, making sure everyone's got uh, their heat beads ready to cook on. So uh, we're going to head on over and have a talk to some of the contestants and see what they've uh, what they've done in preparing their meals on the camp ovens. And I think uh, I've spied the guys up here that Min was talking about who are uh, making the sausages. We might go and have a chat to them and see uh, what they're up to. Okay, so we've got we've got three, four ingredients actually. It's the lamb, it's the carrot, it's the onion and it's the potato. So we're doing a trio of sausages and uh, we're doing it on a, a bed of creamy mash with uh, carrot puree and caramelised onions and uh, this is the Wayne tool in action. And tell us a little bit about this. Did you guys actually uh, invent this sausage creating machine? Uh, ben Hurry Stuacato actually invented the tool and um, you'll notice that when Mercato actually started, he actually pricked the end of it and that's an important part of the process, otherwise you end up with quite a bubble and we don't want bubbles, so um, there it is. Well, there you go folks, sausage being made right in front of your eyes. We're here with Ken from Castle Main, he's driven across for the day and he's cooked up uh, some amazing dumplings. Oh, yeah, well, well, no, my friend, who, who cooked up? This person cooked Sonia. up the dumplings. Ah. Sonia. Sonia is responsible for the dumplings. Ken was just telling us a little bit about how they created like The whole thing is based on the scone idea. Right. And so what, what have you put in there? It's That's flour and butter rubbed together. And then you just make with uh, some water and some golden syrup and some lemon juice. You make a syrup that's boiling, sugar syrup, and you simply dump uh, you know, like a teaspoon size piece of flour or a piece of uh, dumpling mix into it for 15 minutes. Put the lid on and it uh, There's the end result. That's the end result. Fantastic. <coughs> Uh, finding an empty box of heat beads is always a good sign. So Graham, yeah. tell us what, what's the, uh, the CFA's role in today's proceedings? Yeah, the local CFA role is to apply each campsite with red hot coal to warm their camp up and to cook their meal. Red hot coal is what we've got to supply. So we've got to use a heat bead, last twice as long as coals do in the initial start especially dries the sand, warms the ground, warms their camp oven a lot better than just coals do, especially for a start. It's been another great year at the Reedsdale Camp Oven Cook-Off, proudly sponsored by Heatbeads Barbecue Briquettes, and uh, we've really enjoyed meeting some of the characters here and you know, those taking part in today's competition. Hope you have as well. That's us signing off for heatbeads.com barbecue news.